Kilo Oscar for Charlie Echo Quebec, Justin here, and I'm here going to tell you today how to uh, set up custom forms with a uh, FL message. Occasionally during a net or during a QSO, you will come across a file either via FL AMP or FL message that won't be visible or won't be readable uh, with these standard forms that come with FL message. In those cases, you will need a custom form in order to view those files. We're going to go over how to do that today. Once you've got the custom form, the custom form file uh, downloaded or shared from wherever, you're going to end up going to FL Digi. You're going to click on File, Folders, NB, EMS Files, and you're going to click that. That will open up the window, the file explorer, uh, for the mbms.files. Go ahead and double click on custom to open up that folder. The, fo the file that you will need to drop is the form, form type itself. Close that file explorer. You may have FL message open already, you'll need to close it out and start a new instance of FL message. At that point, you'll be able to go to file in the FL message pro app and go down to, um, I'm sorry, you'll go to forms and you'll go down to custom. And now you can see we have the Ancom, Amcon sit rep form file that I've dropped in there. Now the message that I need to open, I will need to get from elsewhere. Let me go ahead and grab that now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and to open that file, I'll need to go to open, file, open, and then I'm gonna click on the appropriate one. It is a K2S file. I'll click open. Now you can see here, it's still not in the, uh, the prettiest format here, but that's the beauty of FL message. We'll go to view form and it'll open up a, uh, a window in this case in Chrome and it will uh, display the entire form. So you can see here uh, to QST from KO4CEQ, uh, I put in here, uh, this was a report from last week after spiking earlier in the week, 450 gallon regular, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff, all that good, fun stuff. We're going to go ahead and close that out. Now, if you want to edit a form, uh, say you started up a blank one or you want to edit this existing one, you'll just click on edit form and it will open up a separate uh, window that you'll actually be able to adjust. In this case, this form has uh, drop downs for incident status, size and scope, overall hazard, etc. When you're done completing the form, typing in whatever you need to, you'll scroll down and hit submit form. Uh, the window shouldn't typically close out, but you'll close out on it anyway. And that data will be saved into this uh, uh, window here in the FL message uh, window. At that point, you're going to want to file save as and uh, save it under whatever name you deem appropriate. And uh, as far as sending, if you want to send this file as it goes, all you're going to do is hit auto send. It will automatically auto populate into FL Digi and send on its own. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We'll modified saved and sure, we'll save it. And now you can see it, the data is being sent over to uh, FL Digi and it is transmitting. The benefit of FL message is that even though somebody may not have that to particular form, like I showed you how to install the form into FL, FL message, that person might not have that form, but they can get the gist of the message of the document or the file being sent just from the plain text of FL Digi if you are sending it without compression. So as we're gonna see here, the uh, the data is gonna be sent similar to the way it was displayed in that FL message window.
Now you can see it started off with that custom form AMCOM sit rep V1. So we're now just moving our way down each one of these lines. And that you can see that even if you did not have this uh, particular AMCON sit rep form installed into FL message, you'd still be able to get the gist of it. And that's one of the benefits of FL message as opposed to FL AMP, which we will uh, discuss in a different video. Uh, that uses uh, some error correction, and it's really beneficial when you need to send exact data and make sure that that information that is being transmitted it gets received perfectly for example lists if you're in a uh, natural disaster and you need to communicate what resources you need to have supplied to you to somebody on the outside it's pretty important that you get the type of item and number of the item clearly communicated to the uh, receiving party so they can gather up those needs for you and it looks like we are uh, about done. It's just got a few more uh, things to, a few more characters to send, and we are done. The entire, the entire message is sent. Thanks, guys, for uh, checking this out, and you have a great evening. Hope you learned something from this.